at All Saints Church in Kings Heath in Birmingham, the congregation gather for the last Sunday service for at least four weeks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For some, this is their main source of social contact, once again about to be denied from them. Well, we'll get used to it again, won't we? It is the isolation of it, like, that you can't go out and meet people. I want to keep active as long as I can. You know, I'm 85 years old, and, you know, I feel all this sitting about isn't really doing me any good, and you can't keep on waiting for dust to fall to keep doing housework. We're certainly able to keep more effectively socially distanced, say, than uh, pupils in schools are, I, I think, in a time of national crisis. The opportunity for people to come together and pray uh, is something that would be very helpful. Whether it's the church, the gym or the local pub, there's an argument why each could remain open at this time. But the government has made its choice. Essential services, manufacturing and education will remain open for business. And once again, it's retail and hospitality that are going to have to stomach another hit. Cafes and restaurants can still do takeout. But this coffee shop worker doesn't expect business to stay open. As a business, they wouldn't be making any money from it. Um, it'd be literally minimum, probably about a few quid every other day, for them to be taken, because after wages and stuff like that, yeah. it doesn't be a lot. Come Thursday, these non-essential shops will keep the shutters down. The furlough scheme will be extended until December. But this phone shop owner says that's not enough to cover his overheads. It's like a huge impact to close, keep closing because already we had a 30 customers a week before the pandemic, and now we're getting around a week seven customers. At the Station Inn, business has been so badly hit by the existing restrictions, furlough is seen as a better option. Which one, sir? Just to the left, please. Thank you. The pub's been running a food bank since March, and the majority of their visitors are here for that. It's almost more my work is for the food bank than for the pub. Yeah. Today, we've been open since 12 o'clock and the only people that I've seen is people to come and pick food up for their families. Yeah. So no one's come in for a pint? No. They may not be making Sunday roasts here, nor any money, but one pub shifting 12,000 free food parcels since March is testament to the community spirit here in Birmingham where there is also a weary acceptance that here comes the latest instalment of a disastrous year. Jason Farrell, Sky News.